Hey guys, welcome back to Cam and Jay today. Hey mamas. Hi Jaden. So, uh, today I'm going to do a quick video just as a follow up to the last one I did uh, with regards to my electrolysis journey. I told you guys that I would make a video for you just showing you guys the products that I bought in order to help myself, you know, get through the process. Um, oh, hold on. I just realized I'm missing something. Okay, got it. So, um, I'm going to just show you guys a quick, um, haul of the products that I bought in order to do electrolysis. And then I'm going to show you guys what I do in order to get ready for electrolysis the best that I can. So stay tuned and you'll see it in one sec. Okay, guys. So the first thing that I bought was polysporin. Uh, this one is specifically for scarring. Um, obviously, the regular stuff that polysporin does, just healing, um, but specifically minimizes scarring. So that's the first thing. Um, just some regular Tylenol. I was saying in my last video, I also used Tylenol 3 just because I had some. Um, check with your doctor before you do that. I know how I react to it. Um, you know, so make sure you guys don't do anything silly as far as the medication goes. I'm going to show you guys the lidocaine. So this is, um, the lidocaine and this is what it looks like. Basically it's like gel form. I don't know if I can show you guys exactly. Hold on. Let me see if I can do it. So this is what it looks like. And basically it's just a cream. You rub it all over your face. I would say before you guys go and get everything done, talk to your electrolysis person. Um, they will give you a recommendation of what kind of numbing cream you can use. For me, I wanted really, really strong stuff, but I know there is another um, type that you can get. Most likely buy it right through the person that's doing your electrolysis. Um, and it's generally like a thinner um, substance, if that makes sense. Like this is really creamy. Um, so I mean, it's up to you what you would prefer. I don't really care how creamy it is. Like I said to you guys before, I will do whatever it takes to just get through this process, this journey. So it doesn't bother me. Whatever we have to do, we just do. And that's what I could get. So that's what I got. Um, I also got this, it's a soothing gel with aloe. Um, and I got this from Walmart and I think it was like $7 but it has a cooling sensation. Um, usually when I'm done my electrolysis, she puts a cream called Soothe on it that's just supposed to promote healing and that type of thing. But once that wears off and after I've like, let's say some hours have gone by and I've washed my face, then I put this on just to keep it cool if it's still disturbing me. Um, but honestly, from my take of it, I don't think it's that bad. The first time is not comfortable. But the second time, once I kind of knew what to expect and knew what that pain level was, I just adjusted. I put a little bit more lidocaine um, and uh, I took another Tylenol and it was doable. And to be honest, most of the hairs are doable. It's just one or two in weird areas. I'm assuming it would be something like getting a tattoo, like just depending on what area you get it on, it hurts more or hurts less. So that is what I wanted to tell you guys about that. Um, the other thing I got, which I don't know if it needs to be shown, but I just went to the dollar store quick and got this stretch and seal, basically just like saran wrap or plastic wrap. I put this on my face um, after I put the lidocaine on just to keep it moist and like keep it not being rubbed off and keep it in place. And then I just used this mask that I got off Amazon for 20 bucks. You guys saw it in my last video and I literally just put that on and it holds everything in place. Um, the last thing that I wanted to tell you, I got this right from um, my electrolysis lady. It's just an ice pack. So I'll put this in the freezer before I go. My appointment's in about an hour. And uh, then if I need it when I come back, I can just put it on. So the next thing that I'm going to show you guys is just what this looks like. So right now, this is... Of course, before you go to your appointment, you have to let the hair grow out. So this is the growth for me now for seven days that I have been letting it grow out. 
So this is the, the side that she has done twice before now at this point. So you can see the clear, I don't know if you guys can get a good view because I'm doing this by myself, but this is the side that she did. And you can see there's a huge difference to this side. So I'm really excited. I can't wait to go back. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully the lighting is good enough for you guys to see. So today I get to go back. I can't even wait. I'm going to be going for probably about an hour and a half and see how far we can uh, do. So another thing I wanted to mention too, if you're going to go ahead and do this, is um, like talk to the person that does it about how they do it, right? Um, I think if I could have gone back, I would have prop and I could still do it, but I think I probably would have done this side on the first visit, this side on the second visit, um, and then done this because after this is done before your next appointment, you can go ahead and do whatever you do, whether that's waxing or shaving or whatever. And this area that to me is most visible when people are looking at you or, you know, your face is turned or whatever those areas will be less intense you know what I mean but for now we started this way and I guess we're going to go down and around I don't know we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes but anyways that was the quick video that I promised you guys I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably just time lapse how I put on this lidocaine just so you guys can see it's not really that difficult not rocket science just um, ooh, one quick tip. Do not use your bare fingers to put it on because obviously it's a numbing agent. So use gloves or tissue or something. Don't use your fingers. Trust me, they'll be numb for hours and it won't be, it won't be fun. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys quickly how I put this bad boy on and then I'm going to get going. And when I get back, I will show you guys what it's looking like. All right. See you guys after. Like I see tons of videos on people that get results, but girl, pray for me because if this don't work, I don't know what I'm going to do. It looks like it's working though. Like it definitely is. What am I saying? Right? Okay. Okay guys. So I put that all on and now I'm going to put this plastic wrap on. I messed up though because I forgot to put my hair back so it's gonna be a little rough but basically just one of these so random guys but this is literally what I do and then once that's on obviously I can't go outside like this mm -hmm. although I would if I had to but luckily 
I can put this mask on and look only halfway crazy on my way there. So I just do one of these. And that's it. So Yeah, so that's basically it. I know this looks a little bit tight, guys. I put it behind my ponytail so that it'll stay on and then I can adjust it. Um, but that's oh, the long and short of it. Long and short of it. Wish me luck because I'm going. Hopefully it doesn't hurt too badly. But I think I'm ready. I hope this helps somebody know what to do before they go. Know what makes it the easiest and most bearable. And thank you guys so much for watching as usual. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, mamas. Hi, Jaden.